guys. So welcome to the next adventure. Right now I am in Courtney, BC, which is like a small-ish city town on Vancouver Island. It's a hop and a skip away from where I live in Vancouver. And I am here to do this local Comic-Con, basically. <laughs> I only got back from Montreal literally two days ago. I don't know what to expect from this weekend. It's definitely gonna be weird. Will I make any money? I have no idea. Will I meet some strange people? I think that is 100% gonna happen. And another reason why I was looking forward to coming here is because as we've been discussing in the vlogs lately, I'm in like a bit of a rut or something. And my time away in Montreal, you guys saw I was doing like so much art and so much drawing that wasn't related to working. And also kind of being a little bit away from social media, I was still, I was still doing my part. But you know, at the same time, it was less than the usual pressure that I feel to be posting every day or whatever. So while I'm here, I'm gonna do a cheeky little bit of soul searching. I'm gonna see if I can get to the bottom of what I want and what kinds of steps that I can take going forward in my career and in my like, even like personal creative journey more so than anything because my career, I'll, I'll figure it out one way or the other. But I think like that soul, creative soul part of what I do has been on the back burner um, for the past maybe year. And then I was like in an art block for basically the whole pandemic. So yeah, we're gonna take some time for ourselves here and see, see if we can get to the bottom of anything. <laughs> this cabin is so cute though. You did see it in one of my Vlogmas videos, if you recall and go back. A fireplace, which I successfully ignited. That's one outdoorsman point for me and my blowtorch. And yeah, my mom keeps it real cute. Um, so yeah, it's a, not a bad place to find a little solitude, you know? Patreon. It's um, also one of my all-time favorite pencils. It's the Mitsu Michi um, pencil in HB. Um, and yeah, and I think that's pretty much it for this drawer. Um, the next one is more of like a paint-based drawer. Here I have all of my um, wash. The brand I really like is called Aquila Wash, which is a like a mixture between acrylic and wash. Really recommend. Here I have, do you guys remember this one? This is my first ever watercolor palette. I don't know if you can tell. It has a lot of like sentimental value and I, yeah, I just love, you can tell which were the colors I used the most. <laughs> um, and here I have some like inks. I have um, inks. I have watercolor inks as well. Um, these were the ones I used for outlining my illustrations. I also have some porcelain paint. Um, this is a varnish, a glaze that I use for my pins. All right, hello guys. It is Friday morning now, the following day. I went for a run and at the end of my run, I got a very delicious iced coffee from there's like a local roaster right in this tiny little neighborhood that is so good. It's honestly a blessing. Um, so yeah, I treated myself and it's like 11 now. And I was like, what, what do I wanna do with myself today? There's something kind of unsettling about total freedom. And I'm um used to living with mark my partner and the cat who is interruptive of what i'm doing and so i don't always feel like my time is totally mine let alone like work related stuff i'm kind of thinking like well what do i want to do and usually to clear my mind i will um go to the thrift store and just browse around i really enjoy doing that but i did a lot of that in montreal and so now 
I'm faced with the question, what do I want out of my time now? And my instinct is to make art, obviously. The art that I've been making recently has been really commercial and a lot of like studies. So those are two sides, two ends of a spectrum of creation that I feel nervous to find the middle of, which is to say my style or kind of work that is, um, yeah, stuff that I'm like making up out of my head basically that doesn't have a intended commercial purpose or goal in mind. Yeah, I'm a super goal oriented person if you couldn't tell that about the everything about me. <laughs> I was thinking what I would do for this little getaway that I'm experiencing is basically give myself some time to over the next few days um, do the work I have to do, but I also want to take some time to explore, to experiment a little bit more, but less loosey-goosey and more focused. And by the end of this trip, which doesn't have like a firm end date, I can kind of stay as long as I want and leave when I want. I want to have one piece completed that feels like the direction that I'm trying to take my work now. You know, I have been doing like research, looking around on Pinterest for stuff that's catching my eye. And I think that there is a really specific look that I'm drawn towards right now, but it's a matter of figuring out how to make it my own and what I want to say with my work more than anything. And my friend Ren, who you guys might know, um, they're like an amazing illustrator. They used to be Lolly Bee Pop, but they're kind of doing a little different thing now. They were talking recently on Twitter about nurturing their inner child, which is like, I feel like it's like psychology 101 that, you know, as an adult, you lose track of that really easily. That's kind of like the vibe I want to tap into, not necessarily my inner child, but like my inner creative fire, because I make art like, I've been making art for much longer than it was ever something I did for my job and I do kind of want to like rediscover why I make art that like isn't because it's my job. We'll see how it all works out. My plan for now is I'm gonna go for a walk into town. I'm gonna bring my paints and my pencils which you just saw me sharpen <laughs> and I love these by the way. Can we just like interrupt. I have a love-hate relationship with colored pencils because I've used a lot of Prismacolor like premier super soft pencils that just the leads just break incessantly and it drives me bananas but these ones are nice they feel like a good balance between hard and soft so these are um Tombow which is a very well-known stationary brand. I doubt that they're like um, professional grade, but I really, I really like it. I really recommend it. I needed something that could give me some color without too much muss and fuss. But yeah, there's a really good taco place in town that I was thinking about hitting up too. So anyway, let's go outside. <laughs> Tragedy struck and the taco place is closed as of a week ago to move from the food truck location to a brick and mortar. It's not meant to be, but I found myself a cheeky little brewery that serves up handhelds and bowls. So hopefully something tasty will be there, but this walk has been transcendent. I got stuck in the mud because I went off-roading, but I found a bunch of cool bones, which was neat. And like, this is area is like a bird sanctuary area. So walking through and listening to all the bird calls, like I definitely feel that like nature <laughs> is something I'm inspired by. So original, I know, but maybe that's something to think about for my work.
Hey, how's it going? I am already a glass and a half of wine into my evening here, and as you can tell, it is glowing pre-sunset evening sky. Uh, it's like six o'clock. Today was so much fun. I, my ex, I literally was like, if I can make my costs to come here and get the table, I'll be happy. But blew me out of the water, sold out of all of the books that I brought. Whoops. <laughs> And there's one more day left. I am so excited. Um, thank you if you happen to be watching, like, and you came by. Tomorrow's a new day. We'll see how things go. And I paid my rent today, so cheers, cheers to that. I'm feeling revitalized. I, it's probably just the sunshine and a glass of wine talking, but I feel really grateful and positive, which is something I can't say that I've really been feeling a ton of lately. After tomorrow, Sunday, I will stay for a couple more days and try and work on that personal project that we talked about. I feel like ruminating is an important part of the creative process. And once I'm done ruminating, we can sit down and try and finish, finish something before the vlog is through. Good morning, you guys. So <laughs> I went a little hard last night celebrating that the Leafs and the Oilers made it to the next round in the NHL playoffs. So you girls a little worse for wear today. My wake up alarm went off, but girl, I am already awake. Today is much more mild, um, more like the spring day that you would expect here in the Pacific Northwest. So we will see how that translates into busyness at the con today. Like I said, yesterday was a banger, so anything that goes down today, I am here for the ride. Um, I am in like a semi-remote area here, and I considered walking into town this morning. Um, it would be about an hour and 45 minute walk to the part of town where this convention is taking place which is a long one. And when my alarm went off at 6.30 this morning and my tummy hurt and <laughs> I was like, I don't think that's happening. So I called a cab an hour ago. It, I was like, please give me a cab at 8.30. And they said, we'll try. So maybe I'll be late, maybe I won't, but island vibes. Uh, I already feel so much better with a, some water and coffee and a shower on me. Let, let's, let's go. Day two, let's go. Okay, I just recorded my newsletter podcast video for my patrons and I talked about Covacon which just happened and you saw and it might be kind of weird to edit in but I'm just it's the same me right here I'm gonna cut in what I spoke about in the newsletter just so I don't have to like repeat myself because I think I talked well but it might seem kind of out of place because I'm gonna chop out all the other parts that don't have to do with it that were just for the newsletter podcast so let's do that <laughs> This convention, tiny. There were like 30 vendors. It was basically a anime kind of fan expo pop culture thing. I found out about this through, I started a Discord channel for local convention artists in Vancouver. We post when local cons have open applications there. And someone was like, oh, Courtney has this little con. And I'm like, I got free accommodation. And it's like a hundred bucks round trip to get there here. So, the table was $80. Um, I figured I could just go have fun here in Courtney by myself and do the con for the weekend. I thought if I make 200 bucks in two days, that's basically covers my expenses for taking taxis into town and whatever. So I go in with no expectations. And what do you know, two days I made gross which means gross is like the, just the amount of money that people spent at my table, which doesn't like subtract any of my expenses or the cost for the items for me to purchase, to sell. I made over 2000 Canadian dollars. What? 
I was shocked. Like that, that is like a, a huge for a little convention like this. Like I figured, oh, if I made a thousand dollars in two days, like that would be really good. That would be my time for two full day days of work, like an hourly wage type thing. That would be all of my expenses covered and then some. So yeah, blew it out of the water. I don't want to be like, go to small towns, like do conventions there, but kind of do because I think if you are operating at a pretty high level of professionalism, you will stand out sort of. And a couple of people were like, yeah, you don't look like you're from around here. You look like you're from Vancouver. And I was like, I get it <laughs> because it is a bit of a, it is a city, but it's a smaller place. It's got a bit of a hippie vibe, but it's very artistic. It's a very artistic community. So people are used to supporting small businesses, kind of those two factors of me being pretty good at what I do, if I may say so myself, and uh, it being in this particular environment that is already open to spending money on small businesses. Yeah, I think it just really shook out well. And the one thing that I take away from it is I keep forgetting young people, teens and tweens, um, you know, femme, queer, whatever, really, really resonate with my work uh, as stickers. Like who doesn't love stickers, but like the colors and, and the subject, whatever. So I keep forgetting that because those people are not the people who follow me really on Instagram. I do have some younger followers, but according to my statistics, it's like people more in their 20s and 30s, like in my demographic. So I don't know. I like, what does it mean? How, how can I take advantage of that? Like, should I be contacting more stores and like finding places where those people are shopping online and um, in person and trying to put myself there? I don't know, we'll see. Um, ultimately, I feel like this weekend was the W I sort of needed <laughs> for my business. I really think like more than anything, the validation of really connecting with people is something that's been missing. Like, I don't know that I've been getting that connection that I love through social media or like it's been really overwhelming and um, complicated recently. But in person, like people have a tangible reaction and a lot of people are creative and artists themselves. And so I can have these conversations and give advice or just talk about, you know, share experiences with people and connect in person. And I really needed that boost to encourage me to continue doing what it is I do. Yeah, okay, so Kovacon is over. I am here living my best life. What did I do today? I prepped the uh, May theme sticker sheet that I was working on uh, over the weekend. I'm so excited about it. I think it came out really cute. I was trying some new stuff. Sometimes I'll finish a sticker sheet and then I'll just take a step back and I'll be like, this ain't it, but it's done. So I have to kind of like execute it anyway. But I feel like for this one, it is it. Um, I made some stylistic choices that are the kind of stuff that I want to keep headed in the direction of. And I came up with so many fun ideas for the theme, which is like, it's ghost rave, right? So it's like music themed month. And so I have a bunch of music theme type rewards that I'm going to prepare for the Big Lunch Club and all the subscribers on Patreon and whatever. And I'm excited. It's a lot of work, it always is. So that being said, as we've been talking about all week, I don't even know, how many days has it been? Whatever, however long I've been filming this vlog for, um, I'm still trying to kind of like figure out this whole creative direction and style and theme and, you know, leave the island <laughs> with a newfound whatever. So today I stepped outside of my comfort zone again and I did this colored pencil illustration of a bouquet that was in front of me at the cafe nearby. I sat down and was kind of like doodling some other stuff. Uh, I doodled this little character who I think looks pretty cute. Um, and I thought, okay, well, what am I gonna do now? Like, what am I gonna work on? And then these flowers were just sitting right in front of me and they said, hey, aren't you an artist? Aren't you supposed to be painting us right now? And I thought, okay, let's go. And it was terrible, honestly. Zero out of 10, no, not zero out of 10, but flowers are hard and colored pencils are hard and I only had my 12 color set. I think I used every color other than black, 
pretty sure. So 11 colors. Um, hard. Happy with how it came out, but I don't want to do that again. So <laughs> experiment successfully completed. I'm still trying to stay in my creative flow vibe. Tomorrow's supposed to be gorgeous. I was thinking about doing some plein air, but my skin has been very angry at the sun, <laughs> despite my best efforts. So I'm not really sure if that will be safe. I'll have to find somewhere covered. I was thinking about maybe going into town and painting in there. We'll see, like I was gonna do on Friday and just never did. But we still gotta, we still gotta make that piece of art in the style of like my intentions going forward. And I've been having ideas and I don't wanna spoil anything cause it's gonna be the end of the video, but I'll talk about it then. I don't wanna put the cart before the horse, but the clock is ticking. So I should probably get started on something to do with that today. I want to show, I don't remember if I showed you this, but I drew this cat, this one right here, and I love it so much. I love it so much. I think I'm going to put it on a shirt or a sticker or something. It's, uh, it's the best thing I've drawn <laughs> since I got to the island. <laughs> We are at no makeup. We are at day 45 of isolation. Captain's log, as Mark says. So, I did a painting. Ta-da! I did a painting. And I have some thoughts that I wanted to wrap up this video with because I am honestly at this point looking back on the stuff that's been going through my mind over this past week that has felt like I only had so much time in my mind to reach a conclusion, AKA the time that I was spending here on the island. And so I was trying so hard to speed run, essentially finding my style that I completely lost track of, I don't know, everything really. Camera fell over, no big deal. Yeah, so this whole time, I've been thinking like, I just have to like intellectualize myself and brute force my way and I'll find a conclusion. And I completely forgot that, and I was even describing this to people on the weekend at the convention, you're finding your style your, is your creative journey and it goes on forever and it's always changing. So I was never gonna come out of this experience with a finished like project direction that was going to inform every painting and drawing that I made from this point forward. That was ridiculous. That was the cabin fever talking. That being said, so I was listening to some podcasts this morning and the theme was coming up over and over again throughout these podcasts of like asking the question is the point. It's not about finding an answer. You're just supposed to ask a question. And hearing that in the podcast made me come to terms with not seeking perfectionism this week. So all of that is to say, I have myself a finished piece here. I don't think I would have made this piece of art if it wasn't for all of the thinking that I've been doing and the study in particular with the flowers and just looking back over my own body of existing work and the stuff that I had been pinning on Pinterest that caught my eye that sort of led to here, but this is not like I say, the blueprint. This is just another example of what is available in my repertoire. And that's that's what I've learned this week is I keep trying to put a box around myself and I keep like loosening the box a little bit and thinking this is enough room. This is the amount of room that I need. But I think right now what I need is just a, a box with no walls, if you know what I mean. Invisible box. And I tried last night to do a drawing that was kind of based on a photograph that I'd taken and I had an idea for what I wanted to do with it, but I started to do it digitally and I was just doodling while I was on a phone call with Mark, but it really was not the right direction. And I think a lot of the times when you are trying to figure out 
what path to take. It, even if there are a bunch of paths available to you, it's good to know which paths definitely aren't the way. So again, the, that's the whole point of experimenting is you realize what does work and what doesn't work. And I brought my sketchbook over too, so we can talk about like, I filled 13 pages here. So it all, it started, well, it actually started on the ferry. I saw a very cute small child. And so I thought I would just sketch that. I always like the opening page of a new sketchbook to be kind of an illustration, not just sort of one of these doodle pages, uh, just to kind of get it out of the way. <laughs> like starting a new sketchbook is very intimidating. I did a bunch of like sketches of girls because I know that I've been sort of wanting to find a way to express that more effectively. I'm going to be kind of vague in explaining this stuff because it's just so hard to explain like with words. That's the point. I'm creating pictures, not words. Uh, more doodles, some stuff from photos and life, and then some stuff from reference stylized, and then some stuff from my mind extrapolating on that. Uh, I did do some concept drawings for the covers of the two. I'm going to try and do two zines. The two zines that I want to create for Van Cath this year. There's just more kind of doodling and filling up pages and just sort of not worried about taking up space. You know what I mean? There's our flowers from yesterday. And then here's the sketchbook page I did this morning before I landed on doing this um, painting. And there she is, the sketch for what ended up being the painting there. Anyway, my last task... <laughs> My last plan for the island here, I leave around 10 tomorrow morning. So this is my last opportunity. It's about five o'clock. I'm going to go paint outside. I'm going to try and do a real quick plein air type thing. And I'm going to soak up a little bit of sun because it's like 22 degrees. And I've been sitting in this dark and cool cabin for pretty much most of the day. So that'll be the end of the video here. Uh, I, I think I'm wrapping up this vlog. I think that's just, I think that just started to happen. I'm going to embrace it. Thank you so much for watching to the end, for listening to me rambling. I hope that like putting my thoughts into words has helped you to put some of your thoughts into words, or maybe I'm like, you can relate to some of these feelings. Like definitely drop in the comments. Let me know if anything I've said here is resonating with you. <laughs> it would be nice to know if you know, you're getting any value out of this sort of thing, but I'm excited to be back for another video next week. Oh yeah, we were coming up with a slogan. Someone was had brought up like, stay something and oh, stay stinky, which I think is really cute, but I used to say, maybe in podcasts or something, stay sparkly. So let's go with that right now. Stay sparkly, you guys. Don't let that flame get dimmed by the cruel, cruel world. And I will see you next week. Bye.